Hey everybody, this is Tyson with HHO for Life back again. Um, it's time to mow my lawn again, so I just wanted to show you guys with me doing this again on my vaporizer. Um, the water to fuel ratio is about a, just barely over a quarter to one ratio. Um, you can see the sun shining through that the gas is pretty uh, diluted down with water because um, it is a little bit over a quarter to one ratio actually more like a third um, of a not of a cup but um, <clears throat> I have about a cup and a half total in here so about a third of that's water um, and it's cool because like you can hear it, it almost sounds like hydrogen's burning with it from the water vapor going up through too because it has a different sound and it kind of will backfire a little bit when the hydrogen goes and it just makes a like the high pitched popping noise when you pop a hydrogen bubble that's what it sounds like um, I don't know if you guys will be able to catch that or not when I'm doing this but I'm gonna set this camera down so you can see me mowing the lawn here um, here we go I can set it on this a little flower pot and then uh, I'll just record it and you guys can watch me do it See, this is a good area. Yeah, that should be a decent spot. So, I'll bring this up here when I start it. And then, uh, got my little rig thing here to keep it down when I start my lawnmower. Um, up too high. I can get that sucker going high. Holy cow, I can make the RPMs go high. I'll need to adjust it a little bit better to get a better ratio, so, um, but, alright. Here we go. Let's get this back a little bit further, actually. <laughs>
Okay, now that I'm doing this, there's a couple things I wanted you guys to notice. Um, with the air to fuel ratio. And this is what I'm talking about, how when it's running on fumes or drier vapor, there's less air required to go through. Um, less it's extra air coming through the secondary valve. Um, I'll show you what the level of gas is right now. And you can see that there's not as much. Okay, now what, what you guys have seen is as I go, um, more of the liquid gas is consumed in, in a colder vapor. But as I go along, it becomes drier. And so I have to adjust the valve so that less air comes into the secondary valve and more comes to the uh, inlet on the vaporizer lid. So just keep in mind that when I bend over, I'm adjusting that valve because it requires less air to run the mower or the engine. Um, so. I'll uh, eventually end up having it closed all the way for it to run right as you guys will see. 